Ho, ho, ho. Hello there. We have a new book for you today, and it's called Merry Christmas, Old Armadillo. And uh, we'll look over here, just the pages again. And it's um, by Larry Dane Brim Brimner and illustrated by Dominique Catalano. And here you can see an armadillo with a bunch of red chilies. And I'm going to move so we can, you can read over my shoulders if you'd like. Old Armadillo lived all alone in a casita on a mesa above the tiny village of Santa Rosa. One Christmas Eve, bells rang out from the village. Church and the choir voices sailed on air. At the sounds, Old Armadillo uh, perked up and went to the door. Merry Christmas, he called, swinging in it wide, but nobody was there. At the gate, old armadillo looked this way and that. He looked that way and this, but there was only the sound of the church bells and the choir voices and the gentle shh of the uh, ristra as it swayed against the gate in the breeze. Sign old armadillo brushed away a tear and checked his litter basket one more time. It was still empty. He thought, Christmas, what's all the fuss? And glum and brooding, he shuffled back inside, sat down by the fire, and drifted off to sleep, kicking up a snore that rattled the windows outside. Oh, in case you couldn't see him too well. Someone tiptoed here and there in the garden. It was Roadrunner, and he was setting out the luminarias. They glimmered everywhere. Even the branches of the giant saguaro outside, old armadillo's casita glowed softly against the night sky. Inside, old armadillo kept on snoring. Outside... Peccary was puffing from her climb. I hope I'm not too late, she said. Roadrunner shook his head and helped Peccary hang their pine, her piney wreath on the ancient door. Inside, Armadillo kept on snoring. Outside, voices whispered, I hope these will do. Coyote set down a crate of apples and grapefruits and pears. In the light of the luminarias, they shimmered red and yellow and green. Roadrunner nodded. They're perfect, he said. Inside, old armadillo kept on snoring. Outside, acorns and walnuts clicked and clacked as snakes gave his tail a shake. This had better be worth it, he hissed, sounding cross. The others laughed and untangled the string of nuts from Snake's tail. Inside, old armadillo kept on snoring. Outside, voices oohed and ah. Tortoise had brought a cactus with beautiful red blossoms. Raccoon offered a water lily. Inside, old armadillo kept on snoring. Outside, feet paced and eyes peered down the path into the darkness. Oh, where is Bear? asked Roadrunner. Ah, that sounds like him now, Peccary said. Ah, Bear, uh, Bear yawned again and patted his mouth with his paw. I'm late, I know. I can sleep through almost anything, but, but th not this. Did you bring it? asked Roadrunner. You didn't forget, did you? I'm sleepy, Bear said, sounding hurt, not forgetful. Let's do it then, Roadrunner said. Inside, old armadillo kept on snoring. Outside, paws tried the knocker. Inside, old armadillo kept on snoring. Outside, noises pressed against the window panes and knuckles wrapped on the glass. Inside, old armadillo kept on snoring. Outside, oh, we'll see a picture of them. 
Outside, fists hammered the door and the voices shouted. Inside, old Armadillo kept on snoring. Outside, it got quiet and still. Inside, it suddenly became just as quiet and still, and old Armadillo woke with a jump. Who's there, he called. It's us, it's us. Old Armadillo went to the door. He thought such a bother, such a fuss, and out he went. The night air was had become crisp, and the stars now sparkled white in the deep blue sky. Merry Christmas, voices chimed. My old friends, old Armadillo said, surprised. It has been a long time. I thought you had forgotten me. It has been a long time, said Roadrunner, but a friend is not easily forgotten. Old Armadillo looked into the garden beyond his friends, and the Christmas tree nearly took his breath away. Ooh, he said. Merry Christmas, old Armadillo, said his friends. Then one by one their voices joined in, and th with those of the choir in the church far below. And when the festive bells began to ring out again, old Armadillo thought, Christmas, such a wonderful fuss. Merry Christmas, everyone. Let's see the picture. And that Christmas Eve, on the mesa above Santa Rosa, the joyous sound of friendship and love filled the night. And that's the end of that story. I'll take the book for you, Santa. Sorry I couldn't give it to you. I was busy with toys. <laughs> Thank you, Elf number one. Well, that's it for now. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. Ho, 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 ho.